In this episode, we're going to identify how to connect our peripheral devices. You're watching IT Pro TV. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to more of the hands-on PC build. That's right. So, well, we've pretty much got our build done, but the problem is it's just a glorified paperweight until we have a way to interact with it. In this episode, we're going to identify how to connect our peripheral devices. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at a few of the components that we have on the bench. Uh, we have, well, a couple of input devices. You're going to see that we have a wireless Logitech keyboard and a wireless Logitech mouse. This is kind of a combo. And we'll look at a little bit more at this uh, small little device here, a little micro dongle, and that's going to help us to wirelessly connect to those devices. We also have uh, our uh, little small microphone, if you will, and uh, headset here, just a headset microphone combination, and we're going to use that, connect that to to our audio uh, jacks on the back of the computer. And then finally, what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and connect our network connection as well. Now you might see that I have uh, to the right of me this very huge, well, monitor. And we need to be able to see what we are doing with the computer, so that'll give us our graphical output. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna connect that. Now, getting started, one of the first things that we want to do is we want to make sure that we have uh, the right connections on the back of our monitor. Now you'll see in this monitor that this monitor has two video inputs. It has an HDMI connection, as well as a display port connection, and then finally the power connection. You want to identify for your computer what the appropriate video connection is. In this case, we're going to connect the HDMI port, and again, ensuring that the power connection is connected and plugged in. So that's got our monitor already connected. Now, let's go ahead and let's travel to the other end of our video cable and let's connect it to the back of our PC. If we look at our tech cam, we have the other side of the HDMI cable right here. And we're just gonna go ahead and plug that right in to the back of our computer. And you can see the HDMI uh, label right there. So that's got our monitor is now connected and it's good to go. The next thing that we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and we wanna connect the devices that are gonna allow us to interact with the computer and namely, that's your keyboard and your mouse. Now you might have seen that when we opened up, we had this little small device. Let's give you a, a chance to see this a little bit closer. Uh, this is actually just what's called a micro USB dongle. And uh, this works, you can see it's a Logitech and this actually pairs up wirelessly with both our keyboard and our mouse. Now you can see that we've got a few different USB ports and ultimately USB is backwards compatible uh, even with older devices, but, or, you know, older standards. But the one thing that I don't want to do is use some of these ports that are the later generation, which have a good fast speed on them for something like as simple as an input device. And the reason I say that is because uh, we want to save that type of uh, throughput, that speed for things like external drives. So I'm going to use right over here, we can see our keyboard and our mouse icon in the USB ports there. And it's just simple as plugging them in and I'm going to plug them into the slower devices because when it comes to your input devices, you don't need a lot of speed and, and again, throughput, uh, power, performance, if you will, uh, out of something as simple as a keyboard and a mouse. Uh, now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to connect our headphone uh, headset that has also a uh, microphone built into it. And we're going to use these two jacks. Now, these two jacks, let's go ahead and take a little bit closer of a look at these here. Uh, you might hear these called a couple of different things. You might hear them called um, eighth inch uh, audio jacks. You might even hear them called 3.5 millimeter jacks. Those are the same thing. Uh, don't get that confused. Uh, you might even hear them called TRS jacks, and they're called tip ring sleeves. And if you look at the uh, the rings in them, you can see that they are they have a couple of rings at the uh, the, the tips of these. So uh, it's color coded. So we're going to put uh, the headset itself, which would also be your speakers, out uh, if you only had a single speaker, and our microphone goes into the pink connector. Now, if you have a seven to one or a five to one surround sound, just pay attention to the speakers and the vendors. Uh, they'll have a diagram on it. And a lot of times they're gonna be color coded uh, so that you'll know exactly how to make a one to one pairing to them on the audio jacks on the backside of your computer. 
Now, one of the uh, last things that I want to do is we want to get our network connection uh, up and going, uh, and that's going to be important. So on one side of our cable, we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll give you a, a closer view on that. We're going to plug into our network jack, and you can see that our network jack is right here. And we're just going to go ahead, plug this in, and there we go. That's a connection that we need, and it's good to go. Now, the other side of this connection, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and we want to connect that to the port on the switch itself uh, or your, your home access point. You'll see, typically see that you've got four ports on the back, and really it doesn't matter which port you connect it to. Don't connect it to the Internet port. Uh, connect it to the one through four port on the back of the wireless access point. And when you do that, that is how you connect your peripheral devices. In this episode, we showed you how to identify the locations that you connect these peripheral devices. Now, keep in mind that it could vary slightly because the back planes on these or the back panels on these um, uh, computers, they, they definitely vary greatly. Just pay attention to the specifications of your PC build so that when you decide to connect those peripheral devices, you'll be ready to power it on and get to work. Thank you for watching IT Pro TV.